All right, you got 25 states banding together to fight the costs imposed by President Obama's latest executive action just before the holidays, making it easier for illegal immigrants to stay in the United States. Texas says it will cost about $130 for each driver's license issued to an illegal immigrant. And it's not the only state worried about the mounting cost. Arizona, a state with 120,000 illegals, are now eligible for amnesty. They are on the front lines of this battle. Mark Abernovich is the newly elected attorney general of Arizona and joins us right now. Uh, Mark, they're here already. The president said we might as well give them a sense of belonging. How much is it going to cost us? Well, you know, I think the um, there's there's two issues when it comes to cost. One is there's the issue of the actual financial dollars. And, you know, some people have estimated that we're talking billions of dollars when it comes to um, whether it's legal costs, health care costs, education costs. I know in states like Arizona, it's estimated that 10 um, percent or more of the students in our public schools are here in the country illegally. So there's a big financial burden. But I always like to point out that it's not only the financial burden, it's also a constitutional burden. The the president has a duty under Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution to take care and administer our laws, and that's what he is failing to do. Also, you say this is how the cost can escalate. For example, you get pay, you, this costs money to give them a license, then if you're allowed to work, then you're also eligible for disability, you're also eligible for unemployment, correct? You know, that is correct. But, Brian, let me just add one thing. I was a former federal and state prosecutor. I fully understand and appreciate what prosecutorial discretion means. But what the president is not doing here is prosecutorial discretion. That means he's not foregoing the deportation of folks. What he has done is taken the extra step to grant legal status, um, to grant work permits, to require states to issue licenses. One of the things that I will point out that's interesting, in the Texas case, in that litigation, the federal government's taken the position that Texas has the discretion whether to issue those licenses or not. Or not. But here in Arizona, we are battling a case that's right now just got done at the Ninth Circuit where the federal courts, the Obama administration, have said that we have to issue licenses to people right. in the country that are here illegally because of the president's unilateral actions. Well, Senator Sessions said yesterday the Republican, now the Republican dominated Congress will not uh, give one inch. They will not provide any financing for this executive action. It's going to be a major standoff when this comes to, uh, it comes to a head. Mark Brinovich, a new attorney general over in Arizona. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.